Kaboom! Stay tuned, because coming up, I'm going to share with you something you didn't know about smokeless fire pits. What happened? It got too hot, you know. I mean, I was running a regular fire, and uh, we we're all sitting around the fireplace, and all of a sudden it went boom, and the thing kind of lifted up, and I thought one of my kids had thrown a, some kind of a can or something in there, you know. But the next morning we, you know, we came down, and I saw some shards sticking out here, and I looked at, it, I said, oh yeah, that's what it was. It's good nobody got hurt. Yeah, I'm really glad of that. I was very disappointed with. They just basically told me, hey, you know, read the fine print, dude. <laughs> you know, but they show it on slate. They show it on decks. On decks, yeah. You know, so I what, think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of the mats and yeah. just put it down. That way I can still move the thing around. You know, I, I would I obviously want to get it repaired. No, it's all good. We'll get you fixed up. Lesson learned. Yeah, indeed. So. So that's it, I've made a template. Go back to my shop, find a couple pieces of stone, get them cut up. We'll stop back later today and get this all buttoned up. All right, back at the yard, we got the piece all trimmed up. We're gonna head back to the client's site and install the replacement piece. All right, so gone ahead, removed the bad piece in the same shape as the template that we cut out. As you can see, the stone that was damaged, it wasn't superficially thin. The stone is upwards of two inches thick. So it really does come down to a heat and not a defective piece. So we got the piece all fit in, trimmed up nice and neat, leveled out, ready to go. Wet it down, clean up, and return this patio back to the homeowner. I don't want you to get a bad taste for outdoor fire pits or smokeless fire features even. The reality is that they're everywhere. It's a trend and there are a lot of pros to them. They can be smokeless when used correctly and they generate an awful lot of heat. So we strongly urge you to enjoy your outdoor living space and use your fire pit, but do it safely. And if you have a smokeless fire pit, we strongly encourage you to put a heat deflector underneath. The reality is that the manufacturer of this fire pit did have a warning, but it was buried very deep inside the FAQ section of their website. This type of situation could have been very bad. We suggest to this manufacturer and all other manufacturers that they make it explicitly clear to use a heat deflector. And furthermore, we encourage them to stop posting photos of their units on patios and even decks without the use of a heat deflector. We hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.